In other news tonight, a strange find at a car wash in Ocean Beach. Someone left behind the ashes of a man who apparently died more than 15 years ago. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty broke this story today on 10 News at 5. He joins us live with the details about the search to find who the ashes belong to. Dan. Well, I think everybody keeps some things in their car that they don't necessarily need to have in their car. But when they come to a car wash like this and they want to vacuum out the inside, they take that stuff out, vacuum their car, and then go put it back in. But the owner from the OB Suds car wash here in Ocean Beach tells me that people leave stuff here all the time, just nothing like this. The mysterious metal canister showed up without warning, with only one clue in the fine print. The sticker on the box said that they'd been cremated in 1995. The human remains of Henry Efevre, dead for 17 years, now on the counter at the Ocean Beach Main Street Association. It kind of put me in a panic because it weighed a lot and I was worried that the bag it was in was kind of dusty and what was I touching and was I being pranked? It's not a prank according to the owner of this OB car wash. He found the ashes near one of the bays. When no one claimed them, he brought them here. Haven't been able to find the person or the crematorium online, so hopefully you can help us. But the online databases that usually help us didn't. So after I struck out with the obituaries, I tried Googling his name. Nothing there either. Then we tried the crematorium. With that, we found a little bit of luck. The only one in California, in Santa Ana, and we found a phone number. We never did sell cremation to the public. We only did cremation for mortuaries. Right. I would have to find out the mortuary that actually took care of the family. The crematorium told me they had no record of Henry because it's been longer than 10 years and their records ran out. But they said what we're looking for may be a document sometimes placed inside the box. I don't know. I don't know. I hope we find its, its owner. His. His owner. I'm sorry. Okay, so all we have to do is open the box and look inside. Are you going to do it? I'm not going to open the box. None of the women from the story would open the box, so I figured next step, we'll head to the coroner's office. Maybe he'll open it, give us some answers. We're live in Ocean Beach. Dan Haggerty, 10 News.